Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and what we have got here is a fantastic little lighter and I'm sure you recognise the name straight away of course we've got a Zippo in its nice little box here uh, first of all I'll apologise for my voice it's only just returned so I'm not bringing quite the vocal performance I normally would to these videos um, so I suppose really if we have a quick look we've got the Zippo lighter which we'll get to in a second obviously some lighter fuel and flints and also a spare wick. So what we're all here to see, this is a customised uh, engraved Zippo and nice simple 360 of the box here. It's pretty much what you expect, a box. <laughs> and when we pop it open, now we're talking. And in this case, if we just have a look here, we've got a little bit of information on the back and you've also got your proper instructions to pull out there. But if we fetch this up to the camera, Fetch this into focus, hopefully at least. Damn round the narrowboat lad. As you can see, engraved on the front rather nicely there. Um, just if you're watching this and aren't familiar with my other videos, I do live on a narrowboat and that is the title of my first and now also second uh, book available for the Kindle. A quick plug there. So if we have a 360 of the Zippo itself, you can see the classic design that you would expect. Obviously flip the top up there and once again well you've got the little arm there that keeps it or oh, well, helps to flick it open and then obviously keeps it shut there when it's closed. But obviously it's a lighter. What we really want to do is get it lit. And as you can see it's everything that you would expect from a Zippo. You obviously can leave it once it's lit. Obviously not for too long because the chimney and then the body would start to get very warm. And then obviously close it up, the flame goes out. And really that's your basic overview and your very quick look. Obviously though, if we just take that, mm, it's a little bit warm. Let's just give that a few seconds to cool down before I can pop it out of the uh, case and just give you a general closer look. Ah, let's go for it, be brave. And as you can see, the central part here comes out and that is basically then gives you access to put more fuel in, uh, change the wick obviously and change the flint, which I will show you in other videos. But really, I just wanted to show you a very quick look at this. And well, as you probably know if you see my other videos, this is the sort of thing that is right up my street and well, on board my boat as it is from now on. So thank you very much for watching, check out the other videos for a load more things like this, a load more videos about life on board an arrowboat which you might find interesting, uh, like the Facebook page, uh, obviously follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the videos, all that sort of stuff, feel free to add my personal account on Facebook, and well until the next time, have a fantastic day and I will see you around soon, farewell. <laughs>